Today I'm trying a painter's mitt for the very first time and sharing my thoughts on how it works. Hi, I'm Denise from Salvaged Inspirations and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. Let's start. Here's the fun part. Today I'm sharing how I painted my picket fence using a gadget I picked up from the ReStore. It's a painter's mitt. I had never seen one of these before and actually my sister encouraged me to pick it up. She thought, well, it's, you know, worth a try. It might really work. When I brought it home, I'll admit I wasn't brave enough to try it for the first time on my furniture, so it sat around for months. But now that I have tried it, I have a good idea of how it works now that I used it to paint my picket fence. So today I'm sharing my thoughts on using a painting mitt to paint spindles, fences, railings, and other hard to reach areas. Here's what I used it on. It's a picket fence that my brother-in-law built when I first moved into this house a good 18 years ago. The paint was in terrible shape, but it's still standing strong. Before painting, I power washed the entire picket fence to get off any of the dirt and loose paint. On my blog, I mentioned that that was a couple of weeks ago, but time flies by so fast. It must've been a couple of months ago by the looks of my garden. <laughs> I tested a few of my favorite furniture paint colors on this fence and I was positive coffee bean, which is one of my all time favorite brown blacks, was going to be the exact color I wanted to update this fence, but it turned out to be much too harsh and way too dark. I tried one of my other favorites, gravel road, and decided that was a little too gray. So what I did was I mixed the coffee bean and gravel road to create a custom color that I thought was perfect. Like with any painting project, the lighting can make all the difference and especially outdoor lighting. So if at all possible, I strongly recommend testing colors before you buy. So once I had my color spot on, I went to Lowe's and picked up a gallon of Valspar's Duramax Exterior Paint Plus Primer in the color Semi Sweet. It's a really close match to the Gravel Road and um, Coffee Bean Mix, but slightly warmer. When I got home, I opened up the painter's mitt package and tried it on for size. They come in one size fits all, but my hands are fairly small. And I think even if you had a regular sized hand, your hand would be swimming in this mitt. They are huge. It was super loose and also the inside is lined with a plastic so the paint doesn't sink through to your hand, but I found it a real challenge to get a grip and be precise with this glove. So next time I try wearing one, I think I'm going to put one of my nitrile paint gloves underneath and that may help a little bit with grip. Um, I didn't feel at all comfortable or confident enough to dip the mitt into the paint tray to pick up the paint. So instead, I rolled some paint onto the mitt with my roller to load it up. And once I loaded the paint onto the mitt, it was time to give it a try and it worked. <laughs> I was actually shocked, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little surprised how well it actually worked. I found it really helpful and a time saver to get in between the pickets, like the sides of the pickets and paint the sides of the boards. And if this was as simple as a straight board going up and down without the cross boards getting in the way, it would have gone even faster. Just as with a roller or a paintbrush, you definitely need two or three coats, but these painter mitts do work. Um, I wish I had used them while the paint, while the pickets were still white, because I know here you're seeing kind of like the grayish gray go on top of the black and it's not quite as distinct to see the difference but I, I hope you can also I just wanted to mention when I went in for a quick bite to eat I took the glove off and put it back in its original package and just kind of twisted the top so it stayed moist and the paint stayed wet on the glove so it didn't dry out in the sun. I do this with my rollers when I'm painting furniture. I do this with my paint brushes. Anytime I want to take a break, I just wrap them in plastic wrap and it keeps them 
it keeps them fresh so I don't have to wash in between each use. It worked just as well with this painter's mitt. So because it was so large, I couldn't get into the details of these pickets. I still ended up using a paintbrush to get into all the corners, and I still ended up using my four inch roller to actually paint the face of the pickets. I just found it easier, faster. But I will say that this painter's mitt actually helped with the sides of the boards. I would say it saved me some time painting the sides of the boards for sure. So if you have any sort of rounded edges, for instance, railings on your stairs or rounded fence posts or any type of spindles that might be on a chair or a table that are actually rounded out, these painter's mitts will definitely work. So I love the way my picket fence has turned out. Unfortunately, it started raining and I didn't get around to painting the picket fence on the other side of my property. But uh, this dark, darker paint color on it uh, is a big contrast to the traditional white that I had and it certainly adds more drama to my yard. So I know today's video was short and sweet. I hope it's maybe gotten you familiar, opened up some ideas to try different products. Again, thanks for joining me today. I'm always so happy that you're here, so thank you. Um, feel free to follow me over on salvagedinspirations.com. Also, if you give this video a like and a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated or even share it with a family member or friend who you might find it beneficial as well. Um, you can also find me on my socials, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Take care, guys. Bye.